The Chesapeake Spring League is all about, of course, all the schools from the city uh, coming together to play each, to each other one time. Then eventually, uh, when we conclude with the regular season of the Spring League, we're going to have a citywide tournament. It's kind of, it's kind of similar to what uh, they do on the middle school level, you know. So uh, we actually start our playoffs on Monday. We'll have our semifinals on Thursday, and we're going to conclude with the championship on June 2nd. And my team goal is to be playing on June 2nd. The benefit of having the Spring League is for uh, to give the singers an opportunity to put on their home uniforms, away uniforms one last time uh, to represent their schools. And again, uh, we missed out on the regular season back in December, uh, which again was a hard, low blow to everybody involved. But uh, this is a kind of a safe face opportunity to give those seniors an opportunity to put on their uniforms again. You've been coaching a long time. Have That's you right. ever seen anything like this? <laughs> This is unusual, <laughs> this is unusual. But I tell you there is a, we wanna say it is a blueprint, blueprint, like I mentioned before. This is what they do on the middle school level, absolutely. So what about this entire year that threw you off just a little bit? Whoa, man. I mean, I think COVID kind of throwing everything out of whack for a lot of people, you know, the sense of normalcy, getting back into, getting to the flow of getting into the gym. And um, we had to make some normal situations out of some unusual situations, meaning uh, we couldn't practice with the team. We had to make an AAU team out of our Indian River team. We had to practice at another facility in which we had to pay fees in order to practice. So it was a lot of things we had to do behind the scenes to make sure we can get the guys into the gym. And my main thing is when the guys are in the gym, they're not only working on the physical, they're working on the mental as well, which is really, really, really important. Tell us about your seniors. Oh, my seniors, wow. Uh, Kiwan Odin, <laughs> Wheezy Odin. I had this young fellow for three years. Uh, he's a, in the terms of basketball, he's a pit bull out there on the court, which is a good thing, you know? I have to tone him down a little bit, but uh, that's my guy. In addition, I have a really, uh, another senior, Dalen Hartnett. Uh, Dalen Hartnett has a merit scholarship to attend Old Dominion University. And Dalen has come into his own this senior year where he was uh, one of the, you know, he didn't speak out a lot. He was a very quiet young man. But now Dalen is the one sending out the text message. And he actually sent one out uh, two nights ago to my team. And he mentioned certain things that each player should be doing in addition to himself. And my message to the team was, when the wise person speak, listen. They give you some great knowledge and take heed to it. You're looking at a tournament coming up and we're nearing the close of the season what do you give your players these seniors who are leaving what is the last message you impart to them um what i try to instill as a coach is um you know let's give it y'all hard work and dedication you put forth hard work and dedication not only on the basketball court but most importantly in the classroom and i tell my guys uh, especially guys that are leaving me, Kiwan, Weezy, Holden, Dalen Hartnett, it's easy to do the wrong thing. It's hard to get up and study. It's hard to go over all these formulas that you have to do in order to take your test. It's hard. It's hard to attain success. But the fruits of that labor is, is, is a beautiful thing when you see the end result. And uh, what I relate to the guys is life is all about processes. You know, you'll, you know, you'll work on one goal, but once you attain and you achieve that goal, you have another one and you want to keep on striving. You want to keep on striving for greatness. And again, it's all about the hard work and dedication that you put forth into that to attain your goals. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thanks, Doc.